Hello lovelies, welcome to my channel. My name is Laura and today I'll be using Jackie Kennedy's favorite face cream for a week. And before we jump into me actually using her face cream, let's talk a little bit about the history behind this Dorothy Gray face cream and where I found the information proving that she actually uses face cream. So it's been over 25 years since Jackie Kennedy passed away and her influence is still felt today from her tailored garments and her famous hairstyle. Her perfect skin, of course, was an important part of her look. Throughout her life, she kept her makeup looks simple and subtle, paying great attention to the materials she used and how she applied them. Author Sam Kashner and Nancy Scroberger chronicle Jackie's beauty routine as a Vassar student in the fabulous Bouvier sisters, the tragic and glamorous lives of Jackie and Lee, a biography charting both Kennedy Onassis and her younger sister, Lee. The following is a breakdown of Jackie Kennedy's skincare routine while studying. And this is from the book, roughly wipe your face with hot water with a rough washcloth, upward strokes on the cheeks and forehead, rinse with cold water to increase circulation and leave a tingling sensation. Before retiring, massage in a heavy cream and the same upward motions. Do this for about two minutes, then wipe away what's left so you don't wake up with it on your pillow. Dorothy Gray's special dry skin combination was the rich cream in question at the time, although she afterwards switched to Erno Laszlo, a luxury brand. She started using a peroxide rinse for her teeth during her stay in the White House to battle the nicotine stain she accumulated from years of smoking. She started smoking as a teenager and smoked two packs a day for the rest of her life but she was extremely wary of being photographed doing so. I find that shocking that she smoked two packs a day. I don't even know how she could stand it, to be honest. I feel like that'd be exhausting. And I bought this Dorothy Gray cream on Amazon maybe a little over a year ago for my first Jackie Kennedy video. And I never actually ended up using it. And then I found it again when I was decluttering my room. And I was like, I wanna try this cream and see if it's any good. And then I started doing some research on Dorothy Gray. And it was really interesting reading about the Dorothy Gray beauty brand. So Dorothy Gray is actually a lady. Dorothy Gray's business grew quickly in the roaring 20s. And when she sold out to Len and Fink in 1927, she had salons in New York, Atlantic City, Washington, and San Francisco, as well as operating a laboratory at 142 59th Street, where her toilet preparations were manufactured under the supervision of Michael J. Gregory. Dorothy slipped out of history after the sale to Lennon Fink, but she used the money to travel extensively throughout Africa, South America, eventually purchasing a huge dairy farm in Dutchess Country, New York State, where she is known as Dorothy Long. She relocated to Florida after selling her farm in the 1960s, where she married twice and died in her 80s after a long life. The salons run by Dorothy Gray. Dorothy Gray's New York salon moved from 57th Street to 749 and then to 753 Fifth Avenue after opening in 1916. By this time, she saved enough money to open a salon that could compete with her previous employer. The welcome room was designed with dull silver walls with wood paneling, Russian green doors, and an orient carpet covering the floor. The treatment rooms were painted in a shade of pink known as flesh enamel with furniture inspired by Versailles, upholstered in yellow, rose, and blue. Dorothy Gray called herself the genius daughter of a genius doctor, scientist, and chemist. Most of her treatments and products, on the other hand, were based on what she had learned as a treatment girl at Elizabeth Arden. Arden was enraged, having conveniently forgotten the majority of her treatments were based on Eleanor Adair's. And for skincare, Dorothy Gray's early clients were mostly mature female clients with the time and money to dedicate the skincare treatments and cosmetics offered by the Dorothy Gray salons. So it's really interesting to see how this cream survived all these years. I'm trying to figure out who it's owned by now. It says KCM Brands and it's still made in the United States, I think in New Jersey. Um, but you can still buy these face creams on Amazon. I didn't see an actual Dorothy Gray website, but when I was collecting all my vintage cosmetics, I've stumbled upon Dorothy Gray like face powders and other things. And if you Google all the vintage ads, there's a lot that come up. So it was interesting that she kind of sold her business and started traveling instead. And I actually found it really interesting that she used to work with Elizabeth Arden and ended up kind of starting her own salon. So it's really interesting. And this 
cream is like a vintage, almost cult classic because it's not that common today and I feel like a lot of people, maybe older people, know about this cream that grew up with it. Because when I was reading the reviews on Amazon, I noticed a lot of people were like, oh, I've been using this cream for 40 years, it's amazing. And when you look at the ingredients, a little bit similar to a Vaseline, it says the first ingredient is water, then we have petroleum, mineral oil, lanolin, beeswax, and then there's glycerin. And there's also collagen and then there is parabens in it so if you're against that then maybe don't try it but i actually like this cream i found it to be very moisturizing and it works really well as a primer under my foundation that was what i was using it for but i love the pink texture i love the smell and it's quite a large jar for the price so you could even use it on your hands but i really enjoyed using it i didn't get any rashes or anything so let's jump right into me actually using the product Hello lovelies, so here is day one with the Dorothy Gray Moisturizing Face Cream and this one smells like the Jergens Moisturizing Cream. Um, it has that like pink vintage scent. So I'm going to take a little bit and put it on my face. It feels like it's very moisturizing and I think it would work well under your makeup as a primer. And it seems like you really don't need much. It kind of has Vaseline-like texture. Almost seems like it's kind of like a cold cream. It's very odd. It's going on in kind of a thick, greasy way. I'm treating it more as like an under my makeup primer instead of a cream just because of the texture right now and it kind of smells the same, it has the same texture as a cold cream. I think I'm just gonna take a little bit of foundation and try applying it over top. I have the Dior one, the Dior Von Tees like, so I'm gonna put that over it just to kind of see it is gliding on nice and smooth. It actually seems to be working quite well as like a nice base under my makeup. And it definitely has that 1950s smell. It smells very similar to the Jurgens one. And it says made in the United States. Just a bit of concealer. So I'm gonna try this again every day for a week. I'm gonna treat it under my foundation, kind of as a base, because it has that very like, I don't know, when you rub it together in your hands, it almost turns into like an oily, Kind of reminds me of Vaseline, but also feel like it could just double as a cold cream cleanser. And I'll just add a bit more concealer. But yeah, it feels very moisturizing. It's definitely a vintage product. It's hard to come by. I got mine on Amazon. I've never seen it for sale at a store in Canada. Maybe it is in the States, I don't know. But I've only but I've honestly never seen it. The reason I know what it is because I was researching Jack Kennedy for a video and I bought it over top just to help mattify it a bit because it just feels like almost too greasy. My skin feels quite supple now. So I'm gonna let that rest and I'll check back with you guys tomorrow morning. Hello lovelies, so I feel like my skin still looks nice and soft from using this earlier but I kind of want to try it as a cold cream and then remove it with tissues just to see how it reacts because it reminds me of that Jergens one so I'm going to really slather it on because it kind of almost seems like a cleansing cream with that pink texture and 1950s smell so I'm just going to slather it on and then use some Kleenexes to remove it and see how that goes. Because I feel like it's similar to the other one, how it doubles. It seems to be working, actually. I just can't get over that smell. It's hard to explain. It's just that retro smell. It actually worked pretty well. And removing. So I guess it kind of is like a double. It's so similar to the Jurgens one. I'm like really shocked by it. So it has the mineral oil, lanolin, which is good for like moisturizing, beeswax, 
see if there's any other. It has collagen. It does have fragrance. Anyways, oh, now it's kind of burning my eyes, actually. Maybe, oh, maybe it's not good for your eyes. Whew. Um, it says it's good for dry or maturing skin. It's supposed to keep your skin petal fresh. So yeah, that's made in the USA. Super retro. All right, I'm gonna do a quick rinse because my eyes are kind of burning. <laughs> Hello, lovelies. So I'm just going to put on the face cream. I actually ended up getting COVID right, and I have it right now. So my voice is a little bit phlegmy. Um, I'm turning the bend. Today is Thursday and I started feeling sick on Monday. So hopefully I'm turning the corner. But I definitely noticed some fullness in my lungs and chest. I don't want to like date this video, but I also don't want to like pretend that I'm not sick. And I feel like everyone's getting it right now, so I might as well just come out and say it. But not to worry, I'm doing okay. I didn't go to work this week, obviously. I think I'm scheduled to work next Wednesday, so hopefully by then I'll be okay. But yeah, I'm liking this cream so far. They give you like a huge amount. Like look at this tub. Here, I'll compare it to like another cream. And you don't need much. It's very moisturizing. And it works really well as a makeup base. I'm just gonna like compare it to like a typical face cream. Like here's like an Estee Lauder and here's this. And I don't think it was too much. I got it on Amazon, it was like a year ago i can't remember the price but i don't think it was very expensive anyways yeah so i'm gonna put this on it's weird it's a combination of like vaseline because it has like a sheenness to it and it almost like floats on top of your skin which makes it easy to apply foundation so i i like it as a primer um, i think it works really well just allows your foundation to kind of glide on top and it's good in like the dry winter months so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my makeup my whole family has COVID right now including my parents and maybe I'll check back with you guys later um yeah so anyways I'll see you guys later hello lovelies so I just took a shower and I'm gonna be putting on my cream I am liking this one now, especially under my foundation. And it's very moisturizing. At first, I thought maybe it had a lot of bad ingredients, but it's actually decent, especially because it has lanolin in it. And that's very moisturizing. And if you live in a really cold place in the winter, it's gonna be like a nice coat on your skin, like under your foundation. You could even use it on your hands. I really like it, and I guess because Jack Kennedy lived on the East Coast, I think this would be good in those East Coast winters. It just looks really well as a primer. And then all I do is add a tiny bit of foundation, like one half drop. And then I put it on top and mix it together, and it gives me like a nice dewy glow. And then my foundation kind of glides on the surface of it. And I find that it lasts all day and my skin looks like super moisturized and my foundation sits really nicely on top. And I'm really liking it. I wouldn't recommend the cream as a cold cream though because I tried it and it wasn't that good. So, but yeah, I really like mixing the two together. I think it works really well. And then you can add powder to it if you want or just a little bit of concealer. But yeah, it's really good cream and you get such a large amount. Anyways, I'm still kind of feeling sick, to be honest. Now it's like more my stomach. I feel like my breathing's gotten a little bit better. I have like less phlegm in my chest. Anyways, I know people probably don't want to hear about my COVID updates, but there's no point in like completely lying and pretending that I'm okay. But anyways, so I'm probably not even gonna be going out today. Obviously, because I can't. But I'm gonna do my makeup anyways to make myself feel better. 
just a little subtle makeup look. And then I'll just put a bit of mascara and I think that's it. And yeah, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hello lovelies, so today is the last day and I'm not gonna lie, I'm like loving this cream now. The smell is so good, it's like super vintage and I love the pink color and the texture is like really nice and thick. It works really well as a primer. Um, I think it would be really good as a night cream too. You could even use it on your hands at night or even maybe as like a body cream or on your feet or chest because the container was like really big and I just feel like it, it kind of is similar to Vaseline it's hard to explain but it's like very shiny and thick at first you're like slightly grossed out because you're like oh my god it feels so greasy but I feel like it really seals in the moisture and it could be good for that like slugging technique, which I'm doing a video soon because I started researching that because it does have similar. The second ingredient is petroleum and then we have mineral oil, lanolin and beeswax. So it is kind of similar as Vaseline. So that's why I think it works good as a primer and it seals everything. And it just really helps like my foundation float on top. It gives me like a really nice smooth finish. It makes me look really dewy. And I think if you have dry skin, like if you live somewhere really cold and dry, I think this would be an amazing cream. So that's why I think Jackie Kennedy probably liked her because her skin was probably dry because she lived in New England and like in the east coast so i can see how this would be really moisturizing on her and you get so much for the price it's like a massive tub and yeah i don't know i think it works really well on me i like it my makeup always looks good with it and it like seals like it doesn't let the makeup like sit in your lines and yeah, I'm really happy with it so far. I think I'm gonna continue using it as a primer under my foundation every day. And I haven't noticed like any breakouts or rashes, anything weird. So like all seems good. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you to all my new members who have joined my membership. And I'm excited for the next video. And let me know if you have any requests or anything like that. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you soon. Bye.